toy soldier is laying on the ground being lazy. He's, he's just chilling, man. He's just chilling. He's got the sticks. So, but uh, he's going to take a quick break. We got Tally here. Uh, how'd your last game go? Uh, not as well as we planned. Yeah. Uh, had some did you guys, you guys lose it? Yeah, we lost 2-1. Uh, had some issues. Uh, search and destroy is pretty easy, but we need to work on some respawn games. Uh, our boys just came here from Arizona and California. They moved here with us, so we got a team house together, but yeah, I, uh, we were talking about you earlier. I was saying, you know, you guys are kind of the newcomers, you know, on the block as far as like uh, a team that's actually a team. So um, we're rooting for you guys, man. This is your first tournament, but uh, we're, we're, we're rooting for you. And it's, it's pretty cool that you got your whole team in one house and you guys, you know, have that. It, I, I compare it to the Optic House. It's, you know, you know what I mean? It's it's the RG House, right? There, there you go, the RG House. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we expect big things from you guys. Big things, buddy. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're excited. This is our first time playing together again. Two two weeks because they had to deal with their family stuff. So yeah. we're excited to get back into it for two weeks, and we got that Nashville grind going on. So we're excited. But let's get into this game here. Who are we playing? All right, we got the return and VG. I'm not quite sure what VG stands for. Do you know what VG stands for? Uh, do you know what VG stands for? What does VG stand for? Yeah, what does VG stand for? I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. Well, we're just gonna call him VG. <laughs> So uh, the Victory Gamers, all right, there we go, Victory Gamers. <laughs> so the return versus VG map, uh, this is, what is this? Uh, this is Search, so this is map two. Uh, I'm not quite sure who won. I'm going to try to get that information, uh, but we are jumping in this game a little bit late. Uh, I'm not sure they're going to switch here. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, we're on Extract. So what, are they, what do you think uh, the return or VG needs to do to, to, to win this map? Uh, when you're on offense, you definitely need to be able to take control of B or A, whatever bomb site you're going to quick. Uh, the faster you can take control of a bomb site, you'll definitely be able to control the map more and be able to put the pressure on the defense team. So the faster they push into the, the side and commit to the bomb plant they want, they should be able to control it pretty well. As we got Oracle mode on here, he might, I don't know if he sees any of them, but uh, there's one just right inside that window there. He's looking, and they're actually playing. They, they have a really good position on the map right now. So the other team really needs to be really cautious. It looks like it is now a 4-2 situation. Ooh, not a good situation to be in here. Lokes uh, almost lost it right there, but I using think he saw him. Un unbelievable using our team. But, uh, <laughs> but in these kind of situations, you need to play reckless. Uh, you need to be able to just play random when you're in these kind of situations. And there you go. There you go. Federation goes up one, nothing. That uh, that situation is definitely hard to come out of in a four-two situation. As we look at the final kill cam here, shoots him right in the ass, and he goes down. So, but uh, search and destroy, man. It's 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 a tough game to play. It's a mind game. It's it's a lot of bait and switch. You think a lot of bait and switch? It's a lot of team. It's a lot of team chemistry actually. Um, when my players go down, like Lokes and Tokes, I know these aren't gamer tags, but when I know they go down. Without him even making a call, I know exactly where he is. Uh, it's all about running different plays, different strats, but seeing what works and then having more than one because if you get start getting predictable, that's when teams can pick up. So the second they start catching on, you switch it on them, they're going to be in a tizzy. Uh, they know he's there. Clink. Clink is a very, very good player if that's actually Clink. I'm not sure if that's Clink or not. I'm not sure who, who's playing on his gamer text here, but we're just going to call him Clink just for the sake. Uh, that's what his gamer tag is, and he knows that there is. Uh, they yeah, they need to rotate. They know. Team oh, oh, nice pickup kill by Clink. Oh, that was insane. It's Cody. Okay, all right. So that's Cody. What's his gamer tag? B O L. Yeah. Who's playing as Clink right now? B O L. Okay. Oh, man, he's actually doing really well right now. He needs to get aggressive here. He has the bomb plant. He needs to plant this or push him a certain way. Oh, that would do it. Come on. He needs to plant right here, but he's got to be really, really cautious because I think they might be flanking him on the right there. Uh, 1v2. Oh, there he is. Yep. Oh, man, he could not pull it out. It is now 1-1. VG and the return are now tied. Still very, very early in this game. VG on attacking. They knew they were all in B. Uh, all four players are there. They should definitely have a rotation going because... Well, what's the point of stacking? Keep going to B if there's four players in there when you're already down a man or two. So uh, that was a piss poor play by them for sure, but we'll see. Now, when, when you're playing with your team, do you guys play more aggressive or do you kind of play back a little bit? Uh, we play both, actually. We have different strats for aggressive and uh, defensive. Uh, when we play aggressive, it's, 
it's actually quite entertaining because if the second they see one of us, the second they call us out, that other player is right there. And there's a ton of bait and switches, but they're not expecting you to, the way that we rush, they're not expect the way we rush, but also on defense, you need to be able to sit back and relax and make them make the move because, like I said, they need to plan it. You're on defense. You can sit there the whole time with your thumb up your ass, and they don't plan it. You're still going to win. So it's really a game about patience. It's a game about patience, like I said, team chemistry and smarts. You can't be playing stupid like that. That was just pitiful. Yeah, I don't know why he ran out there. He knew he was there. He, a, he knew he was there. B, I would never come around the corner like pre-aimed or whatnot because you know you don't know who was going to be where. People sit different corners every time. So Now, do you tend to – I mean, this is speaking from a guy that doesn't play Call of Duty competitive, but, um, you know, when you, when you see a reaction, do you see a lot of people aiming down the sights a lot or do you see a lot of people hit-firing? It just depends on the situation. Um, it all depends on the situation and what I've noticed is the players that tend to uh, win those gun battles more often are mainly people when they come into a gunfight, I see 90% of the people hit their LT button like aiming first. All, I always hit that RT first. I'd rather have bullets flying down than aiming down with nothing for coming so out. So you actually fire into aiming? more. Than yeah, I fire into aiming. I pretty much hit them simultaneously, but I'm, I've trained like going private match and stuff and you just work on it. Uh, Oh, he just hit his <laughs> right? bone player with a grenade. Oh, uh, that that's uh, that's a rough one right there. But he does pick up a nice little little kill there. Uh, the bomb is down, and there's some trash talking going on here. It is two v two situation. He does have the bomb. Let's see what he's actually going to do here. Uh, oh, I don't. Looks like he's going to try to go. I have played against VG before. They're a great. Uh, respawn team. Uh, we have trouble sometimes playing against them for sure. They're a good respawn team, but when it comes down to search and destroy, like I said, they're smarts and stuff. The second they get one man down, they start panicking. They start doing stupid shit where we just pick them off like that. Every time my team is get first blood on this team, I now is VG a pickup team? Uh, I do not know. I think they're an actual team. Uh, we've scrimmed them and I have seen the same players every time, so I'm assuming they're an actual team. Uh, they're definitely a team to look out for, but they have a the respawn's good, but. If, they lose one respawn game, the first respawn game, they're screwed because their search game is really weak. I, unfortunately, both these search. So you're actually surprised that you're not surprised that they're are they losing right now? Yeah, they're no, they're, 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 they're actually up by one. So oh, nice little kill there too. I wish I knew what these actual gamer tags were because I, I, I want to say the gamer tags on the screen, but it's not them. Uh, yeah, for sure. But both these teams right now are playing kind of sloppy search. Uh, they're definitely not playing smart. This one v two now. Why the? I don't understand why the hell he's camping, but. There's no point. There he goes. All right, be aggressive. You only got seven and a half. See, I don't know. That's yeah, if he doesn't get this kill, it's it's gonna be a. Oh, that was a nice kill, but it's still. Good kill. He just waited. Yeah, he just waited too long. That's that's what happens in search. If you wait too long, you pick up that kill. That's fantastic. But if you don't defuse, you're in trouble. Yeah, VG. Uh, that's what one thing I love about my teammates, though. So if it's a one v two in my situation or two v three and. We know bomb needs to fuse or planted. I have my teammates always letting me know how much time I got left before the seven and a half. So if I'm up and out, I know Tokes is huge in that where he'll let me know, hey, 20 seconds so you need that defuse point, which helps you out because that's the whole point of chemistry. You need to be able to help your teammates out. Even though you died, you can still help them out. Don't be quiet. Always be talkative, helping them out. But then you also need to let them know that when it's his turn to do him, let him do him. Yeah, so in that situation, you would have called it out and said, hey, get to that bomb. And, uh, you know, but, you know, Sloppy, like you said, it, it's sloppy. It is sloppy, but uh, what Tokes is actually very good at is when teams plant the bomb. Uh, we were playing a team yesterday in a, a scrim, and they planted that bomb, and it was 4v1, and Tokes just let them run right straight by, and Ninja defused within the first eight seconds, and they had no idea. They were looking every which way but bomb, and he's really good at that. And I give props to my player, Tokes, for sure, which isn't him here, but you need to be able to do random. Oh, woo! Dude, some serious crap talk right now. <laughs> so actually, the return is up right now, because Vimple Vimple is on the return. So we actually said that wrong, guys. We we, we apologize. The return is uh, is actually up. Uh, we were looking at the scoreboard because it's under the names right there. It's that's what makes it confusing. But uh, yeah, Vampire now return. That is HP. Like HP is is a is a team that has is swapped out. Uh, Toy Soldier used to be on HP. Um, they they won a very big tournament here, probably one of the biggest payouts. Okay. Um, at, there was a time there that they had a chance to beat Defy, which is the reigning champions for the last four tournaments, and Defy is nothing to be reckoned with. Yeah. They are monsters. But uh, the return uh, now has Vimple Knight on it. 
uh, that uh, and Silk is a fantastic player. That, the return is a fantastic team, and it's starting to show here. And I, and I was I was looking at VG and I was like, yeah, that doesn't look right, you know. Really yeah, but uh, yeah, I think they're one of the. I would say the return is up there, possibly top three. Yeah, they are a good team. Sorry, like I said, we do apologize for uh, mixing that up. Oh, good shot, boy. Oh, one v one, one v one. You got 24 seconds. He has time to. No need to pre-fire and get anxious. You got time. Play it smart. Oh, he's going to his right. Oh, you saw him. You saw him. Oh, you definitely saw him without that Oracle mode. I know we see Oracle mode, but you have to be able to pick things out. Oh, he's actually going to go for the plant here. Let's see if uh, – oh, nope, they were all over him. So 5-1, one, one more, and uh, I want to know who won map one. Uh, so the return is if they win this, it's over then. Yeah, uh, they returned it. Like I said, they're a great respawn team. Uh, I think they won 150-something to like one. Oh, eight or whatever. That's who you were referring to when you were talking about VG, right? Yeah. So you were talking about Vim Vimpire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, like, VG, I don't really know who's who's on VG. Uh, um, actually, VG's a pickup team. I, I think okay. they are. But uh, I was watching them. I know two of them. This is their first time touching an Xbox One remote. I was talking to them. Uh, actually, the person who's playing as Tally right now, <laughs> I let him borrow my scuff, and he's not used to it. I have the trigger stops, like, real sensitive. So the second you touch that LT, he's hitting it. Has he played with the scuff before? No, he hasn't. It's funny because he's running down and they're so sensitive. He's aiming in on mid sprint. I'm laughing my ass off. This oh man, that, you do not want to be playing with a scuff uh, with this much money on the line. That is, I would just play with a regular controller, but that's just me. <laughs> Kids out there, use your own shit. Don't be used. Yeah. Don't rely on other people's stuff. Get your own stuff and everybody sets their stuff. To, you know, different ways. Everybody has, you know, adjusts the trigger stops. Everybody, a lot, a lot of gamers use scuffs, but a lot of gamers don't use scuffs. So it really, you know. It, 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 Bring your own stuff. That's it's just bring your own stuff. Bring your own controller at least. Exactly. Now this is a two v three for. Uh, oh shit. VG has two right now. Now a smart play would be if they were to get together. Uh, you definitely don't want to separate when it's two v three and you're down a man. Just in case your player does get picked up, you're able to pick that up right away. Or if you're getting shot at, he's going to be more focused on you, and you're able to pick him up to rotate the numbers. But I see this game ending really soon unless Astrak pulls a freaking miracle out. Yeah, this this is this is almost near impossible to come back from. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's game. So the return moves on. I believe we're loaded gaming now. My team will be playing against VG, so I'm excited to play them. Uh